Hello everybody, this is Bill McFadden from TomePure.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at Aflatus Strings, uh, one of the premier libraries, I would say, of all the string libraries that are out there. It's unique. It has a lot of uh, unique um, patches in it. And the first one we're going to take, we're going to look at the uh, combinations folder. There are nine folders all together. And this video will focus on the combinations folder. It has some of the most remarkable uh, patches in it. And we'll start with the lush strings. So here they are. And uh, they're a legato patch. And the legato is great on this library. Let's just go ahead and listen to the... So it gives you an idea. So let's go ahead and uh, play a few chords in here. Now you can see in this little box here, we do have the uh, sustain notes showing when I sustain the, hit the sustain pedal. So like here we have. So you can, the sustain pedal actually has an effect in this patch, as well as the mod wheel for the various legatos. Velocity layer is the different dynamic layers that we have. So we'll go ahead and look at the other patches now. Now the first patch in the folder is the arrival strings, which is unique. When you hit a note, it sort of finds its way to the note you hit. So when I hit the C, It is sensitive to the mod wheel of different velocity and the so the next patch we'll look at is the divisis and these are ensemble shorts now notice We have the Niente option. Actually, the uh, mod wheel doesn't change to the different dynamic layers. But if you'll notice the Divisi option right here above the reverb, if you hit the sustain pedal,
You, you know, activates the Divisi option. Now the niente. Doesn't seem to have any particular effect on this patch, as does, nor does the uh, mod wheel. But great for different kinds of shorts. patch and the full strings are included plus the VZ option. We've already looked at the lush patch here. Now, this also has a niente option, and it actually does work for this patch. Basically, you go to zero sound. <clears throat> Dynamic layers are fully engaged with the mod wheel. And then going to the fourth patch in the folder, we have the Minimalist Strings Legato, and this is another awesome patch really. Notice we have chamber strings so there aren't quite as many and I think they use flotondo. Very smooth transition between the dynamic layers. Almost really seamless. Sustain pedal also allows you to sustain, to sustain notes. So really, the legato patches are almost worth the cost of the library itself. And then we have the next patch, the Minimalist String Tenutos. And they are subject to the mod wheel. So they're different dynamic layers. You can control the length of the tenuto right here.
So you actually control it just by releasing the keys if I... As long as you press down the keys, it continues to play, which is quite handy. Another thing you can do is adjust the level of the different string sections. You have violins, one, two, violas, cellos, and basses. So I want to bring the cellos up. So not too dramatic an effect in this particular patch, but in others it does have quite a dramatic effect. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next patch. So here we have minimalist string tunitos. Oh, my mistake, we were doing minimalist strings legato. Let's go over to the tenuto. Now we see the uh, volume does make a difference here. Actually, it shuts them entirely off, which is quite a lot of control there. And you can control the dynamics influencer so the lower that is the more sensitive the keys are to the velocity And in this patch, the uh, mod wheel doesn't affect, there aren't dynamic layers. At least they're not affected by the mod wheel, they would be affected by your velocity. And then the next patch we have is the Psychato String Shorts. So they're not subject to velocity, velocity dynamic layers using the mod wheel. Uh, your control would again be these two. Actually, when this looks like it's not act applicable at this point.
So when this is all the way up, you have less volume. And then as you move it down, then you have quite high volume. And of course, you can always use CC11. shorts dynamic shorts and then our next the next patch we'll look at is the uh, scene de moir legato so it has a lot of vibrato in it and then of course you have the mod wheel affecting your dynamic levels Again, seamless, going from one dynamic level to the other. And then as far as options, you have the niente, and you also have volume control on the instruments. Notice we have cellos, violas, and your violins one and two. And uh, Whoops, I had it on the end tape. Okay, let's. And you can also sustain the notes with the sustain pedal. <clears throat> So suppose I hit again, you see the seamless dynamic layers. Next patch we'll look at is the scene the more tenudos. And the sustain pedal has no effect. She knows there's a little X there saying it really doesn't have any effect. And the mod wheel doesn't have an effect. Now the niente does seem to have effect on the volume. Seems like this affects the uh, release. And 
And again, the dynamic, the velocity dynamic influencer, the further it is. It reduces the attack on the keys. Next patch we have is the Solpont, and we have a couple of key switches. So you have your dynamic layers. That's your sustain, then the next key switch gives you tremolo. patch in this particular folder is the mouse string pizzicato. And then in the options we do have the niente which lessens the uh, volume. Also, you have a balance, so I could add uh, more volume to violins too. Let's up the volume on the cello. Take the nut off. And then if you probably command click, it sets it back to the default values. So this is Bill McFadden signing off from tonepure.com so this during thanksgiving usually there are sales going on for most sample libraries in particular this one i believe is uh, still on sale at half price first time it's been on sale so if you watch this video at a later time remember the holidays are the best time to get your samples save yourself a considerable amount of money so bill mcfadden signing off from tonepure.com. Mm -hmm.